Let's uh, stay in the Wellington region where the city is in gridlock, uh, right in the central city as people try to get out of it and hundreds of commuters are still stranded at, at the capital's main train station there after an electrical fault uh, just halted the city's electric trains around 4.30 this afternoon, so almost two hours ago. Our reporter Eric Frickberg is still at the Wellington train station, still with people standing behind you, Eric, waiting to get on a bus, right, and get home. What's the latest? Uh, well, uh, they are here. Um, hundreds have moved. I would have estimated there were about 20 bus movements. People have been clambering onto those buses and they've been going, but the backlog has been filling up behind me. I would say so, though, John, that uh, hundreds of people have moved since, since we last spoke. And uh, people looking surprisingly kind of calm, philosophical, resigned to it, just standing there and waiting. Eric, you did speak to uh, a man before who was a little bit aggrieved and just wonders why MetLink are caught out by these events when they're relatively common. But what's the mood like at the station? Mostly it's pretty good. There are people who are saying that others are not being helpful enough, they're pushing ahead, trying to get in first. But I can say, John, that a lot of members of the public have spontaneously parked their car here, offered a lift to people wanting to go to Petone, Johnsonville, Porirua or wherever it is, just out of the goodness of their heart, they've heard on the radio that this is happening and they've come to lend a hand. Now, that's a very positive thing to do. Now, we do know a little bit more, John. Uh, there were three faults, not just one. They were in the overhead wires coming right into the railway station, close to the railway station. They don't know at this stage who's responsible, whether it's Kiwi Rail, Wellington, Ele uh, Wellington Electricity or whatever. They won't put a, a dollar figure on what this is costing them. They, they do say it'll be a lot of money, but in the in the meantime, they just want to move people and they'll start tomorrow with an inquiry into what actually went wrong. Right, so it's the overhead lines at the station there, Eric. That's why none of the electric trains are running. And that is still the case, right? There are no electric trains leaving that station. No, not at all. And when I spoke to someone from Transdev, he said that 8 o'clock tonight was likely to be the time when this problem might be solved. That's his forecast. We'll know when 8 o'clock comes, whether, it, uh, whether it's borne out or not. Eric Frickberg, thank you very much indeed. Live from Wellington Train Station. Nice uh, detail, Eric, gave us here that people who are heading past the station on their way out towards the hut or Porirua up the Kapiti Coast are stopping in and offering people lifts uh, if anyone is heading their way.